Hi friends. So I have not done a video lately about our travels and I have tried to share all the challenges with you, including driving this huge rig across the country on highways, mountains, in the deserts. If you've been following me, uh, you know my YouTube channel is RV Hero Gypsy. So last night I want to share, uh, Randy and I drove about 10 hours last night and we try to get, all, get to our destination before it gets dark and we didn't make it. So we are arriving in Ormond Beach, Florida for an event with our friend Debbie Forrester and we passed the street we were supposed to turn. There weren't enough lights. We ended up on a side street, a residential street. We are about 13 feet high and about 55 feet long. And so we got ourselves in a predicament. We can't see the tree limbs. There's live oak trees everywhere. So we made it around one subdivision and then we missed the street again. We just couldn't see. So we ended up having an option of making a left on the street with a clearance of nine feet, backing it all up to the residential area, or trying to maneuver it around and go through all the trees and the stop sign. As we were trying to do this in the dark with cars behind us getting angry because we couldn't move, one of the neighbors came out and decided to start screaming at us and told us we were on a uh, private, property and I heard I heard Randy yelling up front I'm way in the back in the dark behind the RV trying to tell him he's gonna hit the stop sign as we're going through all the trees so this guy's taking pictures of our license plate and selling he's saying he's gonna call the police and I might call the police the police are actually waiting for us at this destination call them and tell them to come and rescue us <laughs> so I'm like we're trying to save veteran lives why don't you help us instead of being so mean? He was like s screaming at me. So we finally got ourselves out of that situation. We parked in a parking lot overnight. We boondocked in the parking lot. So then this morning we tried to maneuver the RV to get under all the live oak trees. Um, we had to have a police escort to stop all the traffic and nobody knew where to put us because they don't realize how big, how tall, how wide, how long we are. So um, we got down the street and they weren't blocking off the traffic. So we had 10 cars behind us at this point. We did get stuck under a live oak tree and we kind of knocked our, um, we got a lot of uh, scraping on the wrap, but um, I think that's something that isn't as bad, but when you have the roof with the air conditioners and um, the satellite dish thing, so we actually landed on that satellite dish and we thought we broke it, we didn't break it. We had to back it up. Um, so we're here now, but I just wanna share with you, you know, we have been told that we're living a luxury lifestyle. We don't live in the RV. This is basically my mobile office um, to attend events, it's a display. We're trying to help veterans with resources and you know who we are and what we do. But every once in a while, I have to take a minute and just tell you, uh, this is not a luxurious life. It's very challenging. We do love the rig, we love the wrap. We help so many people, but we do have challenges. We were in a parking lot last night running a little generator and we have just enough to run a few of the utilities and uh, driving the rig, people try to, um, especially when we're on the highway, they try to run us off the road because they're driving and trying to take pictures. They cut in front of us all the time. We're nearly the size of a semi truck and um, trying to break quickly, trying to get under trees and around branches. Um, so these are the kind of things, if you're driving one of these big rigs, it happens, but we believe it's, it's so worth it to try to help just one. So just a little bit about our adventure. Um, and Randy's learning my lifestyle, so he's getting quite an education on, he just walked in. So, uh, honey, you wanna say anything? <laughs> I was just telling everybody about. Um, 
this is quite the challenge. <laughs> Getting under the trees and bridges and overpasses and we're what, almost 13 feet tall and we almost we had to turn around because there was a, a bridge nine and a half feet. Yeah, and, I told him uh, all that. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, my wife holds it together and I have to learn how to do that also. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's my rock. You had to apologize to me a couple times, didn't you? I had to apologize several times last night and today as we got into some predicaments that she is totally calm through and I have to learn to do that too because she is my rock and I need to, I need to be aware of that and that I have to uh, always uh, try to do our best. That's all I can say. Okay. Thank you. So for those of you that have been following me for years, what I'm talking about is that um, I have traveled by myself. This is my fourth rig. And uh, when Randy joined me, we, when we got married, he joined me in the last uh, year. And uh, I know how to do everything. He doesn't know how to do everything. I stay calm. So I tell him I like to do most of the driving and uh, I was letting him drive. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So uh, today we're here at the Ormond Strong event for military and veteran and first responder appreciation day. And we're here with all of our resources to help anybody here in need. So thank you so much. Just wanted to give you a little update. We're safe though, so far. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of here, but we're here. Thank you so much. God bless.